Hi, this is Mr. Adams from Midwood High School, and this is a brief video on the pH scale. Um, this will be in our test on Wednesday, so here's a bit of review. Um, in terms of the pH scale, a couple of things are important. We must know acid from base, okay, because the thing is that will determine which direction we are to move um, in terms of whether acid is giving H plus or base is giving OH minus. We must understand the directions on the scale, okay, so we'll talk about it in a second. Um, each pH unit difference represents an increase or decrease by a factor of 10 in terms of H plus or OH minus. So we'll look at that in two seconds also. And whatever ha happens to one ion, okay, the reciprocal happens to the other. We'll do an example of that to tie that together. Now we did this in class, right guys? Um, the pH scale goes from 0 to 14. And if you go, for example, from 6 to 7, okay, or from 8 to 9, you are getting um, higher in pH. The OH minus concentration is increasing. And for example, if you go from 8 to 9, your OH minus is increasing by 10 times. So that's what I mean when I say if your pH unit increases by 1, okay, 8 to 9, your hydroxide concentration will increase 10 times your H plus concentration on the flip side will decrease by 10 or um, times 1 over 10 okay so that's that ties in this guy over here in terms of one being reciprocal of the other but as I said before we'll do some examples also guys we had some equation that we talked about in class already and um, we, I put one of them over here, that H plus is equal to 10 to the negative pH, and H plus times OH minus is equal to 1 times 10 to negative 14. These two equations are very, very valuable, because if, for example, you have your H plus concentration is 10 to negative 10, you don't even need a calculator, you can automatically assume that your OH minus concentration would be 10 to the negative 4 based on this relationship right here, okay, because they always have to add up to 14. If you know your H plus concentration is 10 to negative 13, you can automatically assume that your OH minus concentration would be 10 to the negative 1. Okay, so once again, I add it to 14, negative 14, and you're good to go. Now, as always, as I said before, guys, if you're increasing H+, plus, the numbers, number values of your pH will decrease. Okay, it'll get smaller and smaller. If, on the other hand, you are increasing um, your OH- minus concentration, your numbers will get larger okay it's very very important in terms of understanding the directions your number is getting larger your OH minus is getting larger if your pH values are getting lower your H plus is increasing okay so we're going we'll do some examples now okay we have two examples here um lemon juice squeezed into a beverage changes from a pH of six to a pH of three which ion Increased in concentration and by how much? Okay, a solution has a pH of 8. Three, number 2, if the OH minus increases by times 100, okay, we're increasing OH minus, what is the new pH? A typical quiz and test questions. So you're going to pause the video for a second and we'll see how we do. Okay, we're squeezing lemon juice, right, which is famous for citric acid, okay, into a solution. And it's going from pH 6, okay, to pH of 3. Now, I said um, before, once again, each unit jump, right, each unit jump represents times 10. So, first, we're going to analyze it, okay? So, we know that the pH value is going from 6, okay, to 3. It's getting lower. So, automatically, if the pH value is getting lower, okay, smaller, we can assume we're getting more acidic. And what makes things more acidic? More H+. Plus. So, the ion which is increasing is the H+, plus or the H3O+, plus ion. For our purposes, these guys are equivalent. These guys are increasing if you go from 6 to 3. Now, the next question says, and by how much? So once again, folks, quite simply, you can go from, we're going from 6 to 5, 
from five to four and from four to three. So how many jumps was that? That was three jumps. And a simple um, memory device or rule that you can use, you can say that each jump represents times 10, okay? So what happens is we have a 10 to the third power, okay, in terms of our H plus increasing. And 10 to the third power gives us what? Gives us a thousand. So we can say that our H plus increased by 1,000 or by uh, 10, to the th 10 to the third power, either or, okay? By 1,000 or 10 to the third. On the flip side of that, folks, um, OH minus, if you're going from 6 to 3, your OH minus would have decreased, right? And in terms of the rule at the bottom here, when I said one guy, if one guy does one thing, the other does the reciprocal, if I am increasing by a thousand times, my OH minus would decrease by what? Yes, by one over a thousand. Okay, so for, for this situation in number one, we have our H plus increasing by a thousand. If we go from pH six to pH three, it's becoming more and more acidic, more H plus. On the other hand, our OH minus is decreasing and it's decreasing by times one over a thousand or 0 0.001, okay? Another term they use, you'll see later on, is fold, okay? We can say our H plus increased a thousand fold. Okay, so just watch out for that. All right, next one. In this particular problem, we are given a base, lie, okay, which is a famous base, all righty? And we're told that we're starting out at pH of 8, all right, so we're providing more and more OH minus. We're increasing the pH by times 100. So we look at our starting point 8, and we ask ourselves if we add more OH minus and make it more basic, which direction do we go? Our pH value will increase. So we're going from 8 okay, to a higher number. We must get a higher number for our answer. Now, since it's times 100, we know that each jump represents times 10, right? So one jump, that's another times 10, and two jumps represents 10 times 10. So that will be 10 squared, that will give us our 100. So that will be two jumps right here, okay? So if we increase OH minus by 100, okay, our final or new pH would be value of 10. So the new pH would simply be pH 10. Okay, and likewise, if we increase our OH minus by 100, our H plus will do what? Yes, it will decrease 1 by times 1 over 100 or 0 0.01. Okay, so either or. Okay, so once again, as one guy does one thing, the other guy does reciprocal. All right. Um, know the directions in terms of whether something's becoming more acidic and gaining more H plus or becoming more basic and gaining more OH minus. Um, remember, um, these guys right here in terms of the pH scale, they're very helpful and uh, go from there. As always, hard work plus sacrifice equals success. This is a brief video on pH scale. Hope you guys do well. Take care.